Oh, hi my friends. Well today I'm going to cut this scraper bar off of here. I'm hoping it's all one piece. I can't get the nuts off. They're all rounded and worn. Yeah, you got a better look than I do. And, uh, but I just about got everything else done on this except for the scraper bar and the oil being changed. So I'm going to just put you there. Sit in this little chair if I can. I don't know. Let's do the outside one here. I always get in the way of the camera. That's the first thing I do, right? Okay. Not the busters. Well, it's not quite cut. That's why. I know we, we can use. Hey, hey, hey! Hang on, guys, I'm coming. There we go. El Perfecto. This thing is an air hog. But they work quite well. There we go, baby. I wonder if I can just do that. There, that's what. Well, maybe you're not. Well, you guys look fine. Good. Okay, now we gotta just make sure we pick up our junk as we go here. One, two. Thing, you guys, I'll be right back. You're back. Yeah, that should almost come off. I knew that was a, a little light. Oops. That's what the for. Oops. Okay. talking to myself. I'm just picking up all of the junk now that could get into Mrs. P's tires. Uh -huh. well, now we have a template for our new guy. Excuse me, I'm yelling. I've got earplugs in. Can you hear me now? Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn you off and get set up over here. 
tell you, punk. Do you feel lucky? Okay, so I'm going to use a very wide uh, piece of steel here. We're going to cut it. You guys are looking down the plano. Yep. Sorry to shove you like that. Hey, what are you doing there? Now, I guess that's stereotyping, isn't it? All right, my friends, this is where I got the idea for the three inch uh, scraper bar on that uh, Toro snowblower. I know it's not the one the book says, but it worked. Thank you. So, I needed some, some more uh, stove bolts or carriage bolts because the ones I had on the machine had to be cut off, right? Now I still might be cutting them off after we put the nut on. That's alright. And I've still got some more left. So this is why you use them. So they instantly grab. Uh, just the first thing I'm going to do is cut this to length. Just as easy as a. See if this is square. Or not. Yes, it is. So we're going to make it square. I don't even care how long it is, right? Let's make a mark. Is that like a mama's and the papa's or something? And I'll call Rusty. So now you guys are here. The light is there. And you're looking in this direction. Sort of kind of. So let's just kneel down here. This just sits in here like that. And I, what I would really like to do is push this up a little bit further than normal. Yeah, we're not going to hit. And just clamp it in there like that. And then we have quite a bit of scraper to go. That would be about where I think a regular scraper would sit. Well, that would be too much, right? Yeah, I like that. We've got our board. There's some marks on here, right? So we're going to, I'm going to overlap this about an inch so that we have two inches from our holes. And I think that'll be just perfect. All right, so what I've done is I've marked with a punch where the holes are going to be. I want to drill two holes and then square them up with my air saw if that's even possible. This thing makes a heck of a racket. I'll try one. So I'm going to head over to the drill press now and just drill some holes in here. Hey, I thought of you, Ken. Ken from Ken Small Engines, Mr. Mo at all. Uh, I just put this beside my drill press while I was drilling the holes. Because you don't want to get these shavings all over your garage, right? They get into the electronics, they get into everything. That's kind of fun. Okay, now what do we got here? Let's just have a look. Maybe we did things right, maybe we did things wrong. 
maybe we did things wrong. I think we're there from this angle. Yep. El Perfection. Now I'm going to do another one further out. I was going to... Uh, how can I say this? I, I wanted to uh, make a second hole. But it's hard to drill a hole when it's in a hole. So I'm going to take this and go a little bit further out. Bigger stick. And a little further, I think. By a bolt, right? Yay! You're gonna have some adjustment? Yep. I made that one a little big. But that's okay. I'm gonna make this one just a tiny bit bigger, too. Okay. All right, my friends, I'm just about there. Look at that. Now, some of these holes are not as square as the other. Sounds like something from Sesame Street. One of these holes is as square as the other. One of these holes are just the same. Okay, that's going to have to do. I'm going to mount this and we're going to just see how it looks. Alright, we got the skid plate mounted. It's a little further back, right? I'm just going to tighten it up temporarily to see what we end up with here. Because I want to see if I can get these skids to line up. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just gonna pick up these first. I might put washes on those. All right. So that sticks out a lot further than that. I would say about the length of a new one, wouldn't you? There it went on the old side. And there's the new one. And it looks pretty even. A couple of shins. Now normally I like to use a uh, floor tile, eh? but it wasn't looking on this last job for me very good. So that's how I like to space my scraper blades. So now we'll see if we can turn these ones on the outside around. Right there. Change the direction. Just guesswork on my behalf, right? Take the last one in there. Yep. 
Good. That's fuck. I was gonna say a bad word. <laughs> This will give me a chance to sleep on it tonight, too. And the same on the other side, and I'll come right... Well, I might as well get you guys to watch. A little dark in here. Return to Panda. Now down there, we'll put the light. Is that one thicker? No, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna just lower this side down again. Oh, I see. We got a crack in the concrete. Bring it forward past that crack in the concrete. That should help. Yeah. That one's tight. So it's just this side. I'm going to cut off these tie these pieces on the... Well, maybe I should leave them. We might be done this. Except for an oil change. There we go. So we'll come to the front and we'll have a look. Pretty substantial scraper blade. Eh? Yeah, I forgot it had a back depth to it too. Eh? Okay. Oh. All right, my friends. I got the scraper blade down far enough. This is the area where I had no ice, right? And uh, I'm just going to set you up here. For the general shot, and we'll see how it goes. You might, your battery might run out. I have no idea. How's that? Is that gonna work? Maybe. Let's see if she starts again.
guys got to look at that. All right, let's have a look underneath here now. You can see, I'll go back and forth because I don't know what I'm filming. You can see right here that we cut the bolts off. I'm just using the light right now. And then up top here, there's the three inch bar that we saw in the picture. But you can also see the square holes I drilled. And right there's a good, if I can get at that, right there's a good one, right there. The square holes have at least another half inch to push, right? I'm pretty happy. I'm just going to check a couple more things and then go use this bad boy. <laughs> <laughs>